Suzanne Summers is a renowned American actress, author, and health advocate who has captivated audiences for decades with her charm, talent, and undeniable beauty. With a career spanning over six decades, Summers has become a household name, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. But there's much more to Suzanne Summers than just her well-known roles on popular sitcoms like Three's Company. She has also made a significant impact in the world of wellness and health with her groundbreaking books, innovative products, and unwavering commitment to natural and holistic living. It is for this reason that I decided to delve into Suzanne Summers' biography and tell you her true untold life story. But before I start, I want to ask you to support my channel just by clicking on the subscribe button. It's not hard for you to do it, and it will be very pleasant for me. Suzanne Marie Mahoney was born in San Bruno, California on October 16, 1946, as the third of four children in a working-class Irish-American Catholic family. Her mother, Marian Elizabeth, was a medical secretary, and her father, Francis Mahoney, was a laborer and gardener. Her father was an alcoholic and was abusive. Summers first attended Mercy High School in Burlingame, California, but had trouble with her schoolwork due to her father's all-night rages and would often fall asleep in class. At school, she performed in the lead role of HMS Pinafore. She was expelled at age 14 for writing sexually suggestive notes to a boy, which were never sent. In 1964, Summers graduated from Cappuccino High School in San Bruno, California, where she won the Best Doll Award for her role in the senior musical, Guys and Dolls, and helped organize her class's senior ball. She then attended San Francisco College for Women, a college run by the Catholic Society of the Sacred Heart Order, but dropped out in 1965 when she found out she was pregnant. She married her child's father, Bruce Summers, days later, at age 19. Suzanne Summers first started to earn fame in 1969 when she appeared as a prize model on a show called Anniversary Game. The show was hosted by Canadian TV personality Alan Hamill. One of her first major acting roles was in George Lucas' breakout film American Graffiti. Throughout the next period, Suzanne Summers landed roles in shows like The Rockford Files, The Six Million Dollar Man, and One Day at a Time. She also has a minor uncredited role in the film Magnum Force. In 1977, Suzanne Summers booked a leading role in Three's Company. She portrayed a stereotypical dumb blonde and soon became a sex symbol due to her performances in the show. Three's company did incredibly well in terms of ratings. In 1980, Summers began to demand a much higher wage and was subsequently fired. After Three's company, Suzanne Summers found it challenging to appear in sitcoms due to her controversial exit from the series. However, she eventually found her way back into the sitcom world with She's the Sheriff in 1987. The show ran for two seasons. After appearing in a range of made-for-TV movies, Summers landed another notable sitcom role in Step by Step. The sitcom started in 1991 and ran for seven seasons, adding considerably to Summers' star power. In addition, Suzanne Summers has hosted various talk shows over the years. She also appeared in Broadway productions and appeared in Dancing with the Stars in 2015, placing ninth. A major pop culture figure, Suzanne Summers has been referenced heavily in shows such as South Park and Beavis and Butthead. It's also worth remembering that in April 2000, Summers was diagnosed with breast cancer. She underwent a lumpectomy and radiation but declined chemotherapy. In November 2008, Summers announced that she had been diagnosed with inoperable cancer by six doctors, but she learned a week later that she was misdiagnosed. During this time, she interviewed doctors about cancer treatments and these interviews became the basis of her 2009 book Knockout about alternative treatments to chemotherapy in the book. Summers promoted alternative cancer treatments, for which she was criticized by the American Cancer Society and alternative medical providers such as Stanislaw Brzezinski, who has been disciplined by the Texas Medical Board for misleading cancer patients. Suzanne passed away on October 15, 2023, 123. Her publicist statement said that she had been fighting breast cancer for decades, but the official cause of death was not released. Suzanne Summers is a remarkable actress, author, and businesswoman who has created a lasting impact in the entertainment industry. Through her multiple successful ventures, she has become a household name and a role model for many individuals. With her determination and resilience, she overcame various challenges and built a successful career that spanned several decades. 
From her breakthrough role in Three's Company to her inspiring journey fighting cancer, Suzanne Summers has proven to be more than just a celebrity. She is an advocate for health, wellness, and personal empowerment, using her platform to make a positive change in the world. With her entrepreneurial spirit and passion for helping others, Suzanne Summers continues to inspire and captivate audiences worldwide.